Hey everyone, how's it going? This is not Hill Street Cl um, I accidentally messed up last time I made a video, <clears throat> and I, uh, accidentally used my other username for other games. <laughs> so sorry about that, my name is actually, on Clash of Clans, my name is actually Herobrine, which no is not from Minecraft, it's a royal Polish name. So, well, let's get into it today. Sorry about that, um, strange intro. Um, we're gonna start off with my clan leader, Tyler. He just shared a replay. And, um, I actually haven't seen it yet, so let's see how this goes. Lots of loot. I'll give him that much. Yeah, he's, um, level 105. But he, he's been talking. He gets a lot of his levels from donating. At one point in one of his clans, he donated over... 5,000 troops. <laughs> so that's impressive to me. I mean, I've donated over 1,000. <laughs> it kind of made me feel a little insignificant. But, I mean, you know, that's kind of like for people who play a lot. <clears throat> I guess I play a lot? I don't know. Whatever, back to the raid. Um, he's got those level 6 giants going, which I always loved. I say loved because it's past tense. I was always, I always was like obsessed when people had level 6 giants. I thought they were the best in the world. Because they do so much damage and they go for defenses. And if you get a troop that does huge damage and goes for resources, or not resources, I'm so stupid. Uh, if you get a good troop that goes for defenses, then, um, <clears throat> then you're basically going to win. No matter what, because... These things are doing huge damage, and if you can take out all of your opponent's defenses, they've got nothing that can take you down. So, I would, if you don't already, I would suggest using troops like balloons, or like giants like he's got here. Especially if you're below the gold premonitory, or premises, prim I'm an idiot today, I can't talk, I just finished um, finals today. <clears throat> so, I'm just kind of out of it right now. <laughs> so, if you get if you're still under that gold premises and you can and you can um use troops like giants like Tyler did, then you've basically won. You use giants and you use healers. That's what you do in in Silver League. <laughs> That's how you're going to get an instant win every time. That's a, that was a very nice raid, I'll say. 21 trophies, 292 dark elixir, 341,000 dark, uh, normal elixir, and 225,000 gold. Very impressive raid. Thank you, Tyler. And, um, I just did a, I just actually did a raid with Valkyries for my first time ever. I mean, I've had Valkyries for a while. Typically, um, I didn't like them. I would use golems. <clears throat> but I know they do the splash damage, so I sent him in to try to take out the clan castle that I knew he obviously had. Well, that did pretty good at first, until he got those level 5 archers out there, and then they took it down like nothing. The funny thing, though, is clan castle troops will group up like that, making them very easy to take down with a wizard or a valkyrie or anything that really does splash damage. Don't ask about the wall breaker, that was just... Oh! He got shot down, so that was a bit disappointing. Now, Valkyries have a lot of health. They're very strategical units if you're trying to, if you're using them correctly. Especially if you've got a lot of them. Like, I had 13 in here right now at this one time. And if you use them just right, like I sent in a heal spell right there to cover them, they can be very... they can do massive damage. Now, you gotta kind of watch, though, because Splash... Towers will take them down fairly quickly. Then again, they also take down splash towers very quickly. The rage is very helpful here. <clears throat> I feel like I kind of wasted my heal spell, to be perfectly honest. And like you saw right there, I sh you should really watch for um, giant bombs. Watch that wizard one shot right there. Now we got our Valkyries over here, they're going to work, they're taking down army camps, which is relatively pointless. And I just got 
the level 7 king today. As soon as I got the king, I started recording, so... <clears throat> he's not taking a lot of hits right now. I mean, he's taking a lot of hits, but... He's taking it. Like, it's nothing. He doesn't even die by the end of the battle. So that was... A couple Valkyries were lost right there, but it doesn't even matter with how powerful they are. King is almost dead. Oh, that's funny. And that's the last thing. So, like I said, if you're gonna use Valkyries, make sure you use them strategically. I'm gonna... I'm gonna be using the strategy a little bit more. Use some Valkyries a bit more often. <laughs> they seem like good units, so... <clears throat> maybe I'll show, like, if I get better with them, I'll show you, like, how, uh, like, a how to use Valkyries video or something. <laughs> so, see you next time, guys. Um... I guess you could, like, if you want to, you can leave in the comments what you think I should do. And, um, special shout-out to everyone in my clan, basically. We got we got Tyler, Matt F., a couple guys that are really nice to me. Is, um, Jacob is pretty nice, Tyler, of course, Chadwick, and my friend from my school, Bobby. So, special shout-out to them. <clears throat> and if I'm missing anybody, go ahead and tell me if you guys, if anybody in my clan is watching this. The clan is called Ryu's Reign, so check us out if you want. We're, we usually are full. We do have some requirements, though. Sorry, my fingers hurt. I gotta crack my knuckles. So, alright, thanks guys. See you next time. Bye.